I'm trying to get. Ooh. Uh, no, nah, we gotta help her. We gotta try to help. Well, I mean, you gotta be quiet. Shit. God damn it! No! Oh God! Oh my, what do we do? What do we do? No. No. Oh no. You gonna, you gonna run? Wow. What up everyone, this is the Reaper back for another episode of Healing Agenda. I be the last time I play this game. Uh, we will start off in a building. Uh, let's see. A uh, lady cop and a guy cop, forgot what their names are already. They were going into the building trying to find out the trapper and... We got the guy but now they're not so sure he actually is the guy because there's a new person in play. Guy named Adam Jones, so we don't know if he actually the one or the guys in jail holding cell right now is the guy. So there's a lot of questions so far about who actually is the real trapper, and so far we got very little information. So I hope your day went well, and I hope the rest of the day or night goes well, and we will continue this gameplay of Hitting Agenda. Alright, this is where we left off. We have to decide if to be defiant, tell her, look, screw you, you're on your own, or we could be supportive and see what the judge will say, consider the fact we don't have much evidence. So we're gonna take it to the judge to see what he'll say. Yeah, you're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? Uh, am I buying his story? It adds up, actually. I mean, you know... Well, basically, he says that hey, how can the world he be the ripper while he's in jail? And there might be other people more to play. It's about the pastor and his playhouse or playroom, whatever that is. So, we have to find out if to catch the bigger fish. But no, if you catch the big fish, you got to catch the small fish. So, we're going to go with curiosity. The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? We won't know unless we try. I think he can help us. Yeah, we're going to be optimistic. We've been optimistic so far, so I want a shot. I want him to try. I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there, and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? If I was in your position, I'd say give it a shot so you could help us. I mean, I'm not, I'm not changing my answer. I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Three hours all we need. Hey, Lana, you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it? Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. 
Nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Alright, so in other words, I am letting a convicted serial killer out just to find another convicted serial killer. Alright. We'll see how well that goes. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. Look, I still don't like this guy already. I mean, he already got an issue with one woman. Now you come in here with an issue with another one? I'm just doing my goddamn job. I don't care what you think, man. I'm just doing my job, Detective Calvary. I try not to miss things that might be important. Oh. I know that's sort of a foreign concept around here. I'm not gonna punch a DA. Not a lady one, at least. I wish you would punch Who me. See what you can get. Exactly. Was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry, fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? Here's the thing, before I choose Optimus or Demissive, if he was burning a building like five years ago, I wonder did anybody uh, see the body, the ashes, or did they see a bone or something of his human body? So far, nobody mentioned anything about it, so I'm going to say there's something there. I mean, there's something got to be there. I mean, I think... I think there's something there. Judge thinks so too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Oh. Does that sound familiar? No, I remember something like that. I didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, would, I don't think so. Creepy so guy. no reason to suspect anyone but Finn. I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was really? no evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you was have it him? To all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was, was the it his hair? social worker. And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll yeah. walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. Oh my god. I'm not sick of this guy already. I'm here for morning, so no screw you guys. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10 8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Wrong move. A piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain, and any one of us could have been next. I mean, why would you go and go alone in a dark spot and it's raining by yourself? That's how. Oh Lord, here we go. At least have backup with you or something. Okay, do we enter the trail or do we search the area? Oh, oh we going in. We gonna check this out. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. 
Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Okay. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Okay, we found a bomb, that's nice. What the hell was that? Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't <laughs> Dang, he got her tied up. He can't do anything. Help, help me. Oh, shh. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh, God. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? I'm trying to forget... Ooh. Uh, no. We gotta help her. We gotta try to help. Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Carefully. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Get me out of there. I mean, you gotta be quiet. Shit. God damn it! No! Oh God! Oh my, what do we do? What do we do? No. No. Oh no. You gonna, you gonna run? Wow. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Got out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. You were brave going there alone. How did he get away? Well, who knows? Well, he wasn't never in the beginning with, so... There's no way he got away because he's never in a... First of all, I think I got another question. If there was a partial analysis, was it that Finn or was that somebody else? Just because somebody confessed to a crime... I mean, doesn't mean he actually did it. I mean, he did or may not did it, but that partial analysis of the hair or whatever it was was crucial. It could have been somebody else. So, you have to. It was to... very brave of you to go in there alone. I was uh, just doing my job. And um, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, he just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh -oh. I'm saying. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch Look. out. Try to work together. Okay, hey. okay, let's ease up on the pissing contest, all right? Let's at least try to pretend to work together. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. A lot so more salt. That about covers it. Anything else we can help you with? No. Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? 
I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let you know if we find anything. Thank you. Now, what is this guy? Problem, look, he, he need to be punched in the face. Hey, Graves. Yeah, I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. He's more Don't than worry that. About it. You were really helpful. Uh, friendly. Let's be friendly. I'm just trying to. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I. What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. Okay. First night looking for files. Detective work. Okay. A rat trap. Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door, and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Dang. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. Power of Tess's victim. Again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? Uh... Annoyed? Do I look tired? Apologetic? It's been hard to sleep. We gon so far, we've been nice throughout this whole gameplay, so let's continue this trend. Been nice. Oh, I'm sorry, I... It's just, this was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up, I, I don't know, it's... It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I hope so. Second not... target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them. LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged the light fixture with C4. Dang. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Sound like you're in fast way with this Third guy. Target. Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. Dang. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. That's a sick stuff. He, wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other re first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. Yeah, I don't blame them. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen, and the real target was the third precinct? Are you saying they deserve it in defensive? No, we'll be thoughtful about it. That's interesting. Good theory. Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. Yeah, I don't like this you guy. You couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. He got a stick resentful. 
angry. I ain't misplacing no evidence. Oh, he got no, he got no clues against me. All I ever wanted was to get out of this shithole and join the FBI. As soon as I finally grow the stones to apply for training, guess what that piece of shit does? No. Yeah, Calvary just had to stick his nose in it. What did he do? He says that I misplaced evidence. Ouch. And now there's even a full-blown inquiry. Even when they come up with nothing, it's still an inquiry. It means not above suspicion, and the FBI doesn't want people who are not above suspicion. That's some hard luck, Becky. Hard luck? My father was a hero in the department. Sure was. My first week on the beat, he eats his gun. That's hard luck. No, that's true. You haven't heard the things that they say about me. Every time I walk into a room, I can feel it. I'm a joke to half of these people. No, I'm sure that's not true. Because it, 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 it's been like that the whole time. Start this game. I'm supposed to be crazy, right? Radio guy, cavalry. My father like daughter. Becky, you're a good cop. Okay, I'm sure everything's going to work out. Yeah, I wish I could believe that. Okay, what's this? Who is this? Uh, here we go. Another cop in the dark at night by itself. Okay, a door is wide is open. Police? Anyone here? Looks like no one's home. Oh, who? Oh, sir, can you hear me? I don't think he's getting up. Got two on? for the price of one. What? It was a cop. What? What happened? I was still trying to put that together. The call came in and there was a body. Responder showed up, body was rigged. The trap was down. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, before we'll choose a decision between there's no way skeptical or who is it, concern. We had to put in the gameplay right here, and I hope you liked the video. Press the like button, press the subscribe button, or you make comments in the video, and we will continue on. On next time, on Hidden Agenda, where we find out who's our second victim. Sound like a cop, but we don't know which cop is it. Peace out.